Hey, what's up you guys? Super Raid Dizzle here. Welcome back to my channel. So the other day I was looking through Pinterest for art hacks and I stumbled across something very interesting. Apparently there are liquids that you can use to break down your colored pencils to blend them better. This really blew my mind. And of course, I'm a sucker for anything blended. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try these out and see just how well it works. For blending, I will be using a 425 oval mop brush by Master's Touch. All the supplies will be in the description box below as always. And real quick before we start, sorry about my voice. I'm a little under the weather today, so my voice is kind of messed up. And last but not least, I will be using a Prismacolor wax based colored pencil. And with that being said, let's just start. First thing we're going to test down is odorless mineral spirits, which is a paint thinner that you can get at Walmart for like, I think maybe six bucks for this giant thing. This bad boy is designed to break down paint, so I'm kind of excited to see how well it works with breaking down pigment. Starting off with two colors, I'm going to be using first off a light pink and a light blue and just kind of make a gradient of the two and try to blend them out as best as I can before I use any of the actual liquid product. I don't know how much pigment to use, so I'm going to start off light and just do like a nice light wash of the color. I don't want to go too ham too hard just yet because I kind of want to get a feel for what I'm going to be doing here. The paint thinner was really thin. It had the consistency of water. So because of that, it made it really easy to push around and mix. So at this point I was like, yeah, this is on my A game, you know, but then I started noticing like, wow, it's really starting to feather out and I just started mixing and I'm using 70 pound paper. So I was surprised that it sunk that bad that quickly. And when I say sunk in, I mean, that was an understatement. It actually didn't sink to just one page underneath, but actually two pages underneath. So I don't think that's supposed to be happening. So let's do round two and add way more pigment this time. So all the steps I'm doing over again, including some spillage this time. And oh yeah, baby, right off the bat, you can definitely tell the difference. Come through, pigment, come through. So I guess adding more pigment after all was the key to this because it just melted down beautifully. But just because it melted down beautifully doesn't mean that it necessarily blended beautifully. This is a little bit streaky. There's kind of like a weird line in the middle, but I think this would work a lot better if you were like um, a cartoonist or an illustrator versus like trying to blend out perfectly for realism. And this is how much it bled through, which is not so bad considering the first one was a, was a literal nightmare. Next up, we got baby oil coming in hot. It's filling it in, this time very saturated. And I'm gonna try to blend it out as best as I can with just the raw colored pencils. I'm not gonna lie, I have really high expectations for the baby oil because it's been in so many art hack videos, so many Pinterest pins and boards and just all over the internet in general. And from what I can see, it doesn't necessarily blend, but it softens. Unlike the paint thinner, it's not melting it down, it's just kind of softening everything up. Which isn't necessarily bad, this could be really good for like mild blending. The photograph does not lie, people. I was surprised with the lack of feathering, actually. Oh, no, no. Gave it about five minutes and this is how bad it feathered and bled through. Ugh, which sucks because I used hardly any baby oil and I used a lot of pigment and it still bled through. Okay, whatever. On to the next one. We are going to be using 70% alcohol for this. As you recall, this is one of the bigger hacks on Pinterest. So supposedly it's supposed to just melt it down and as you guys can see from the picture it gives it a really nice gradient. But we will be the actual judges of that. So you guys know the routine, just fill it in, give it a nice gradient, blend it as best as I can, and boom, onto the alcohol. So with the alcohol, like the other products, I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and just slowly blend it out. Since alcohol is like a water-like consistency, I don't wanna add too much too quick because it will go through the page. But supposedly, all the wax from the Prismacolor is supposed to act as a barrier. And wow, would you look at that? It blended really, really nice. Probably like the nicest so far. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that it didn't even bleed. Like, what is this? I think this hack might actually work. You better work, alcohol. You better work. Okay, next up we got extra virgin olive oil. 
which olive oil is notoriously known for melting down pigments, whether that be in like um, oils or art supplies or whatever. Also, my dog kind of bit it, but whatever. Anyway, it's really good at breaking stuff down. So in theory, it should break down the colored pencils really well. So just lay down the pigment here and get all the stuff ready. And so far, literally nothing's happening. So like, yeah, I guess olive oil doesn't break down on paper. Maybe it just breaks down stuff on the skin, like makeup and stuff, but yeah, no, big no for paper. So here's the HD photo, and is it me, or does this look even worse? I feel like it just made it look way worse for some reason. And yeah, this spilt horribly through the paper. It kind of turned it green too. Okay, so my final thoughts on them all. Alcohol was clearly the winner, as it is in most aspects of my life. <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, definitely I was surprised with how well this worked. I thought paint thinner would be coming through, but alcohol surprisingly was the best. And it dried really, really quickly. And it didn't bleed, so I think we might have a winner here. Anyway guys, thank you so much again for watching this video. If you want to see more of my artwork, you guys can find my Instagram here. And I pretty much post everything since like 2013 on, so you can see everything that I've ever painted or drawn. And with that being said, I love you guys so much, and I will see you next video.